Hi, I'm Wendell from Modo. This year, National Grid is looking to roll out a series of new reserve products, so let's take a look at them. First up, Quick Reserve. This will be a pre-fault service. That means it's designed to work with dynamic regulation to solve small energy imbalances that occur on the system. Due to the sub one minute ramp rates and maximum delivery time of 15 minutes, this seems like it could be an ideal service for batteries. It's due to arrive in October this year and the ESO is expected to procure a minimum of 300 megawatts of the service, but this could rise to 1.4 gigawatts in the right conditions. These will be delivered over two hour service windows. Next up, Slow Reserve. Slow Reserve will be a post-fault system. That means it's designed to work with dynamic containment to solve larger losses on the system. Assets will need to ramp up within 15 minutes and deliver the service for two hours or longer. The slower, longer requirement opens the service up to a wider range of technologies, and so batteries may struggle to be competitive within the auction. It's due to launch in November, and the ESO is expected to procure around one gigawatt for each two-hour window. This is because it has to secure against the largest loss in the system, so this may go up over time when things like Hinkley Point C come online. Lastly, let's look at Balancing Reserve. Balancing Reserve is actually the name of a mechanism through which the ESO will procure a service called Regulating Reserve. Regulating Reserve is already procured by the ESO, but only directly through the balancing mechanism. Getting it at this late stage means that the ESO risks not being able to get the reserve levels it needs. It's also meant the ESO has paid huge amounts for the service, up to £6,000 per megawatt hour this winter. Balancing Reserve looks a lot like Quick Reserve, but a slower, chunkier version. Again though, the idea is to solve energy imbalances in the system. The ESO is hoping to procure between 0.5 and 2.5 gigawatts of the service, and the auctions are won each morning ahead of the day ahead auctions for the wholesale market. But will it be suitable for batteries? Well, the technical requirements do fit in with what batteries can provide, but the insistence that providers will be able to provide mandatory frequency response does for a spanner in the works. Finally, there's actually no start date for the service yet. Ofgem just rejected the ESO's initial design proposals for the product. The 50 megawatt minimum requirement was seen as discriminatory against smaller flex providers, while the cap on performance penalties was seen as insufficient to protect the delivery of the service. However, Ofgem supports the need for the service and we expect to see the ESO's response towards the end of March.